Hello everybody, it's Tanner Fishies here, back again with a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, I first have to apologize for my voice. I do have a sore throat, just a common seasonal cold. I hope it's not anything too serious, but if I sound a little sick in today's video, that's probably why, but we're going to try our best to get through it here. Because I want to talk a little bit more about Ninjago Season 16, or whatever you want to call the 2022 Summertime Ninjago Season, because looking at the newly released set list that came out a week or so ago, as of the time of recording this video, it looks pretty crazy and could mean a lot of crazy things for the storyline of the Ninjago TV show, especially in regard to Golden Power. Now, Golden Power we have not seen in the Ninjago series for quite some time. I believe the last time we saw it was during season three, unless you count like various Ninjago shorts and whatever else. I think season three was the last time that we saw Golden Power. And I feel like with these new sets, a lot of Ninjago fans are expecting Golden Power in the TV show to make a grand and return. So in today's video, I want to give a couple of thoughts of my own as to what Golden Power could be doing in Season 16, what the storyline could look like if it does indeed surround Golden Power's return, and how that might affect Ninjago's future. Just keep in mind though that everything I'm going to say in this video is 100% speculation, unless I say otherwise. Keep that in mind, this is not confirmed information. So continuing on here with talking about the Golden Power storyline, if you take a look at the leaked set list for the summer of 2022 for Ninjago, you can see that several of the sets definitely definitely hint towards Golden Power's big return. Almost every single ninja has a set designated as a Golden Dragon vehicle. This includes a Golden Dragon set, which is going to be one of the most expensive sets in this entire wave, signaling to me that the Golden Dragon will be a big part of this new Ninjago story, and in turn, Golden Power. And because most of the ninja have a Golden Dragon vehicle, you can see where the pieces fall into place here. It seems to me like all of the ninja, aside from maybe Nia, will control Golden Power at some point during this this next season. We've seen something similar before, as mentioned during Season 3, when the ninja pretty much used Golden Power in the Digiverse, and also when Lloyd gave up his last percentage of Golden Power to restore the ninja's own elemental powers. We've seen the ninja control Golden Power like this before, but we've never seen it at this big of a scale. I am willing to bet that during the Ninjago Season 16 story, or whatever you want to call this next Ninjago season, we could see the ninja retain Golden Power and use it to fight against the bad guy, presumably the Vengestone Buyer. And while that story may be ambitious to some people, maybe a little bit too ambitious in the case of some folks, I think it is very plausible and very likely, especially considering, again, the 2022 set list, which includes several Golden Dragon vehicles and the Golden Dragon itself. Talking more about the Vengestone Buyer, yeah, the Vengestone Buyer may very well be the villain for the summer of 2022. I only say that because when we combine what we know about the Vengestone Buyer thus far and what the 2022 set list looks like, I think these two stories could easily overlap and provide us with a good guy versus bad guy dynamic that we could see in Ninjago Season 16. In my opinion, the Vengestone Buyer is the perfect antagonist for a Golden Power themed story. So here's what I'm thinking right now, connecting the Vengestone Buyer plot with the Golden Power story. We could see the Vengestone Buyer use Vengestone to eliminate all elemental powers across all of Ninjago. That includes every other elemental master and the ninja themselves. The ninja realize that they still need to do something to fight the Vengestone Buyer, and somewhere along the way, they manage to tap into Golden Power somehow. And using the golden power of the golden dragon, the ninja could combat the Vengestone Buyer without needing to use their own elemental powers. Essentially, this could lead to a massive final battle and could very well be the embodiment of the term, an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. I'm not sure if the Vengestone Buyer could combat golden power. Maybe Vengestone could block golden power so the ninja need to increase their strategy a little bit, maybe build up their strength some more. I don't know, it just seems like a solid good guy versus bad guy situation. The bad guy eliminates all of the elemental elemental powers using Vengestone, so the ninja need to improvise using Golden Power as a loophole to still combat the Vengestone Buyer. It could very well work out. It also seems like a solid conclusion, not only to the Vengestone arc, but for the entire Ninjago storyline. Using Golden Power, again, could easily topple the Vengestone Buyer, while also bringing things back full circle and reconnecting to Ninjago's earlier seasons, which admittedly the newer Ninjago seasons seem to be avoiding altogether. Speaking of going full circle, I've always thought that reviving elements from the final battle may be the perfect way to end the entire series of Ninjago, or at least the storyline for these specific ninja. Things like Golden Power and the Golden Dragon returning potentially in the summer of 2022 makes me think that this season of Ninjago may be circling back to where it all began, or in the case of the final battle, 
where it all ended for the first time. And while this aspect of summer 2022 for Ninjago is not confirmed just yet, considering various things that the Ninjago creators have brought up revolving around a conclusion, and also once again considering the summer 2022 set list, it seems like maybe this is the direction that Ninjago is heading. Whether or not this will be a solid ending though is obviously up for debate. So yeah, I think Golden Power has a very high chance of returning in the summer of 2022 in whatever season the summer of 2022 will bring. However, that doesn't mean that I don't have concerns. I obviously do. If Ninjago will in fact be bringing back Golden Power, as the 2022 set list seems to imply, I do have some questions and some concerns as I said earlier. My first concern revolves around the Golden Dragon. The entire theory of Golden Power returning during the summer of 2022 pretty much relies on the Golden Dragon listed in the summer 2022 set list being the same one that we saw during the final battle, and I suppose we also recently saw it during March of the Oni during Lloyd's Vision, but still, I would expect this Golden Dragon listed here to be the exact same one that was used by the first Spinjitzu Master and Lloyd Garmadon. If it's not the original Golden Dragon and it's just some other dragon that just so happens to be gold, that would feel kind of cheap, honestly, as a Ninjago fan and as a big fan of Ninjago's final battle. If they're going to introduce a Golden Dragon, they should probably make it the same one that we saw during the final battle. Otherwise, as I said, it would just feel kind of cheap and kind of weird and would seem like a missed opportunity. I think it would be a nice reward for Ninjago fans who have stuck around for all of these years, and especially fans like myself who are a big fan of the final battle. While I may be a little biased in saying that, I would like Ninjago's true final battle, if this is going to be the final battle, to have some type of connection to the original final battle, the original conclusion. Speaking of bringing back things from the original final battle to connect to the modern day, let's talk about the villain really quick, the Vengestone Buyer. I've always said in the past that my dream Ninjago ending would consist of the ninja battling the Overlord one last time, and if I were writing the Ninjago story, I would like the Overlord to be the final boss, the last villain that the ninja ever face. While that was the case during the original final battle and the original conclusion of Ninjago's story, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case here. I think the argument could be made that perhaps the Overlord could be involved with the Vengestone Buyer, but I doubt the Vengestone Buyer will be the Overlord. I'll probably do another video in the future talking about this idea even further, because I would like the Overlord to return at some point before Ninjago's story ends. Maybe his relationship to the Vengestone Buyer would mirror the relationship between him and Garmadon during the original final battle, with the Overlord secretly pulling the strings behind the scenes this entire time. And that'll pretty much wrap it up for my concerns over this Ninjago storyline. Again, it is kind of early to judge the entire story story, as we don't have an official synopsis just yet as to what this season may in fact introduce or what it may be about, but I think considering the Ninjago 2022 set list, there is a pretty high chance of Golden Power coming back, and I just wanted to give my personal thoughts as to what I felt the storyline could look like and some concerns that I had before the season eventually does come out. I imagine as we get closer and closer to the season 16 release date, we will start to get a better idea as to what we can expect. So with that being said, you guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this entire idea. Do you think Golden Power has the potential to return during the summer of 2022? And if so, what do you think the actual storyline of the TV show will look like? And also, what do you think about the Overlord being connected to the Vengestone Buyer? I plan on doing another video about that subject in the future, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime though, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching, if you enjoyed feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.